guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. So we are currently recovering a consensus starting tomorrow. To all of you who are going there, like I said in the last video, I'm super jealous of you. Hope you have an amazing time. Let me know how is it going on. In previous years during the consensus, the crypto went up and so did afterwards. So hopefully this year we'll have the same influence on the crypto market cap and we'll see the upcoming bull run finally fully happen without any FUD spreading around anymore. But today I'm gonna talk about a hard fork of Electronium and let's crack on with it then. So I'm guessing you are wondering what Electronium is. I will do my best to give you a quick roundup. Basically put, Electronium is a fork of the British based cryptocurrency Electronium with added securities and a solid focus on the technological development of the blockchain opposed to the marketing oriented focus which many members of the Electronium community have become vocally frustrated with. So while the Electronium coin is said to be a fork of Electronium, it is also said to, in my opinion, add some much more needed technological advancement to the blockchain by essentially splicing Electronium with Monero to create a hybrid. Hence the name, basically. Just as we're talking about both of them, Monero is currently trading at $209 and Electronium is trading at two cents. So one, I talked about some criticism and one of the main criticism of the Electronium network, which is to be addressed by the Electronium hard fork, is the issue of the huge pre-mine, which accompanied the release of ETN tokens. Due to the nature of blockchain tech and ultimately cryptocurrency market manipulation, the fact that ETN has a pre-mine of 56%, which is 12.56 billion of 21 billion of its total supply, possesses a considerable risk for ATN holders as those will access to the pre-mined funds can tank the value of the coin at their own value. ETNX, that is the ticker for Electronero, is addressing the issue by raising the total supply 10 times to 210 billion coins. 3% of which is allocated to reward mobile miners and 2% of which is intended to be used to leverage potential dumps from the centralized funds of the ETN team. As the coin will still be using the crypto node technology, Electronero will be an entirely private and untraceable coin, which is similar to Monero and Electronium. And due to the development of the Electronero team, it will be hopefully ASIC resistant. Another aspect of the project, which I personally find one of the most interesting, is the proposed implementation of smart contracts on the platform. As we all already know, smart contracts are big business, and if the Electronier team can get these aspects right, this is something which could make or break the coin, basically. Anyway, there is a lot to it, as you can see. Go on the website, read the white paper, I highly recommend it. And now I'm just going to talk about the edge of hard fork and how it will happen. So the Electronium coin is said to be a traditional fork of the Electronium blockchain and will occur at a height of 307,000, whereas the testnet happened at a height of 280,000 block. And that was two days ago. So when the block 307,000 is mined, a snapshot will be taken of the E10 holders who will be rewarded on a one-to-one -one basis with Electronero. After conversing with the developers of the project, it is the best way to claim your coins by moving your ETN to a paper wallet prior to block 280 being mined. This is due to the fact that the ETN web wallet will not grant you access to your private keys, which is basically another aspect of the ETN blockchain, which many people are concerned about. And if your coins are in there, you will not be able to access them until the ETN team decide to approve their community being a part of the Electronero project. The other option, though, regarding claiming is to move your ETN coins to an exchange which support ETN. However, the problem with this method is that the fact you will have to wait until the certain exchange you put it into lists Electronero, something which could be quick or it could be long and no one really knows. So there you go. Electronero is a project that definitely got me quite excited. Uh, let me know, guys. Have you heard of Electronero before? I know electronero has got a massive community. It's a great project. I'm still awaiting the release for the mobile miner on iOS. If anyone could please update me if you know exactly what is going on with it. As I know, they said that the updates are happening. It's been written, but they're just waiting for an approval of the Apple Store. And that was the last time I heard of it was when the Android version came out. So it's not really ideal because it's been a while and my FOMO starts to kick in. I also am a big fan of Monero 
And guys, this is not professional financial advice, definitely not. It's just, I'm just summarizing what's happening. They had a testnet launch on the 11th of May and I thought it's worth mentioning it. So let me know guys, you fans of any of those three cryptos now I could say. Let me know what you like me to review next. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Leave a comment letting me know what you'd like me to review next. And remember to follow me on Twitter, uh, Altcoin Sarah and Altcoin Buzz Ladies, where we post all the videos and we ask you guys things you'd like us to review. Whereas I just post what's in my head. One of my favorite posts, actually, I know it sounds really full of myself now, but I think you guys also like it by the amount of likes is this, when people who spend years in school to work 40 plus hours a week tell you they don't want to spend the time learning about blockchain and crypto. So I'm just gonna leave you guys with that, let us sink in, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!